Once upon a time, in the year 1347, on the continent of Europe, there is a team of nobility which included a duke, a king, and a knight. All of the serfs and peasants of the land looked up to this political team of rulers. Politically, socially, and economically, they controlled the world at that time. Then one day, they faced the toughest game of their life. A game against an unlikely opponent, the Rat Fleas. Small as they were, the fleas carried a deadly plague, the Black Plague. Fleas bite rats first, then fleas bite humans and inject humans with the bacteria. The fierce weapon first became evident with the nosebleed. Next, its victims would often run fever and vomit. Next, swellings would develop called buboes, most often on the victim's neck or armpit. The buboes would later pop and bleed. Here you see the Duke, who liked daisies. When he had a growth on top, he wanted to cover it up. Next, black sores would come on the arms and legs. When this happened, there was not much left to do but to hold hands in the midst of roses, waiting for the next victim to die. Their song became known as Ring Around the Rosies. Baby, are you down, down, down? The Black Death was a scary time which led to days of uncertainty. The team lost key players. Death hit every social class, the rich and the poor. When a knight died, there was no knight in shining armor to save the damsel in distress. Not only would the knight die, but the damsel in distress would die too. Even the doctors of the Middle Ages could not save the people. Thousands of peasants died in a short time. Later, movies such as Monty Python depict their inevitable death. Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead! Here's one. Not Frank, Sin. I'm not dead. Nothing. Here's Not Frank. Not dead. He says he's not dead. She is. But I'm not. But he isn't. But he will be. He's very ill. I'm getting better. You're not. You'll be stone dead in a moment. I can't take him like that. It's against regulations. I want to go in the court. Oh, don't be such a baby. I can't take him. I feel fine. Well, do us a favor. But I can't. Well, just let them ride a couple of minutes. It won't be long. I already have a wagon full. I lost nine today. When is your next round? Buff thing. I think I'll go for a walk now. You're not fooling anyone. Oh, look. Here's something you can do. I feel happy. I feel happy. <laughs> oh, thanks very much. That's fine, I'll see you next Thursday. Death led to despair. Hopelessness led to loose morals and lack of faith in God. Politically, the feudal system weakened as serfs moved away. When laws were passed to help keep peasants working, the peasants became angry. The peasants would eventually revolt, known as the Peasants' Revolt of 1381, as the lords died off. As peasants died, the land was not worked, so fields were left unplowed, and then there was no harvest. The food that was available cost four times more to buy. The poor often could not afford food. As peasants died, the lifestyle of the nobility could not be maintained. Entire towns disappeared. Hey, where'd your town go? I know there used to be a town here. 
It is estimated that one-fourth of the European population, or about 40 million people, died in just five years. Once infected, a person usually died in less than a week. Of the three main forms of the plague, the pneumonic form was extremely dangerous because it was spread by sneezing and coughing, making it highly contagious. After blood, growths, falling down, and poverty caused by the Black Death, there was a light at the end of the proverbial tunnel, but not for hundreds and hundreds of years. The moral of the story is that mankind can survive wars, captivity, loss of privileges, taxes, invasion, and lack of education, art, and trade. But no one escapes the dark time that follows an unexpected death. Especially the unexpected cruel death of the Black Death.